Hello everyone, it's Anne here. I'm just connecting to make sure we are live and that everything looks good. If you're on, say hi and let me know you're here with me tonight. And we are going to get started. Let me just make sure comments on. All right, so welcome to our Monday, December 14th night crafting session. My name is Ann Granger and I'm excited to be with you. I'm an independent demonstrator here in Canada and I can't wait to show you what I have tonight. You can find me at www.stampwithann.com and I will be posting this video to my blog and my YouTube channel. So you be sure to describe with me if you so you know when I've been posting my material. If you're on, say hi and let me know you're here. Hey Katie, thanks for joining. Um, tonight we're going to be making a Christmas card featuring the Coming Home Bundle, which is part of Trim the Town, and the quite curvy Variety Bundle. So great news, The so this is the card we're making. And great news, I want to show you the Trimming the Town um, products. So this is Trim the Town. I have to tell you, this was the first one I fell in love with when I first looked through the catalog. Like, I just love it. I ordered it, but didn't really play with the bundle till like mid-October, and now I can't stop using it. I don't know, it's just something about coloring these houses. But good news for you, the right now Stampin' Up! is having a giant year-end closeout sale. And exciting news, some of these products are on sale. The um, the paper is 10% off. The ribbon and embellishments is 50% off. And the coming home dies, which you can find on this stamp page here, is 30% off. So right now it's cheaper for you to buy the stamp set and the bun to die separate. You would actually save more of a bigger discount. Now these are well supplies to last and I did check the inventory list before I went live and they are still available so that is great news. So this is well supplies last until January 4th or whatever runs out first. Then I wanted to share with you that we will also be using the Curvy Celebration Bundle. Um, this is an exclusive release that Stampin' Up! has brought out um, at the beginning of November and it's good till January 4th. But some of these products are only available to January 4th. Well, other products will be available in our new January to June catalog. The Quite Curvy Bundle will be available in our January to June bundle, our January to June catalog. And the Christmas stamp set and the designer series paper, they're only going to be available while supplies last till January 4th. What I'm showing you tonight is the stamp set, and I want to show you... The stamp set, I'm using the stamp set with the bundle, but I also wanted to show you, so right now you can purchase the Quite Curvy Variety Bundle, which gets you this stamp set and die, the Christmas stamp set and the designer series paper. So that is also a great deal while supplies last till January 4th. So, as I said, I wanted to show with you. So we are using the Coming Home Bundle, which is this stamp set and die. That is the one we are using. And then we're using the, I just wanted to show you the quite curvy bundle, variety bundle. So these are the dies. We're actually going to be using the dies tonight from this. And then this is the stamp set that goes with it. So this stamp set and die set will be featured in our January to June catalog that will be released in January. This one is only available to January 4th. And we will be using the greeting from this tonight. And then I wanted to share the designer series paper with you. If you love Shaded Spruce, Cherry Cobbler, and Sahara Sand, you're going to love this color combination variety pack. All right, so let's get started. Let me move my stuff out. And let me just get focused. Okay, so this is a card we are creating. This is actually a card I shared back with my team of demonstrators. Uh, we are the Stamp to Create group, and I have many demonstrators from all across Canada as I'm an independent demonstrator here in Canada. And I love this combination and I really want to share it with you. So we're using Crumb Cake as our base. We're using Misty Moonlight, Whisper White, and Trim to Town Designer Series paper. I tell you, this paper is my favorite from the pack. I could use a whole pack of just snowflakes. We will be using the curvy dies and we will be doing some coloring. So first of all, 
I do have my measurements here on the side. So the card base is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. My misty moonlight is three and three quarters by five inches. My white is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And my DSP is three by five in case you wanted to recreate this. So let's get started. As I said, I have a crumb base. It is five and a half by four and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have our Misty Moonlight, which is three and three quarters by five, and we're just going to put some here. So we're using our stamping seal. And we're just gonna lay that down. Then we are using Whisper White, and our Whisper White measurement is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And we're just gonna put that over top. And our DSP, which I absolutely love, that's the one side, and this is the other, is three by five. And we're gonna put that on top. All right, so that is the base of our card. And we're gonna move that aside and we're gonna bring in some coloring. I've already stamped our images for you because um, I actually had this done a while ago and was creating and thought, oh, I'll share this card with you. So these are the trees and the stamp sets from the, um, let me just find everything, the coming home stamp set. So when you look at products, look at different ways you can use them. This stamp set does not scream Christmas to me, but you can use it for Christmas. You can use it for welcoming cards to welcome a new home. You can use it for a new beginner driver's license. You could use it, I've seen these embossed on blues. I've seen them embossed on crumb cake. This stamp set is gorgeous. I am very sad it's not carrying over. And it is one that I will not be letting go because I just love it. There's just so much you could do with it. All right, so we are coloring with Old Olive, Smoky Slate, Real Red, and Crumb Cake Stamping Blends. I'm actually going to put my card up there. I think you guys can still see it. Maybe just right up there while I'm color. Okay, so I've already done my trees and what we're gonna do is we're going to do our houses and then we're going to cut them out and I'm going to show you something exciting. All right, so I'm just going to color in the roof lines with Smoky Slate Dark. to highlight, circle around. What I'm doing is trying to create those edges. Um, I'm also going to do, I'm not going to worry about the door because as you can see on my card, I've actually put the small house on top of the big house. So I'm not going to do that, but I am going to do the small roof. And I'm only going to do little dabs in the middle of the roof. Now we are going to do the dark roof door and I'm just going to highlight around. Okay, if you were up early last week and got a chance to order some blends from the clearance rack, wow what a deal. They were so dirt cheap. Um, there still might be some blends available. I haven't gone back to look. Um, let's see. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just coming in and shading with my light smoky slate. So I wanted to do have that looks of like dark and light. And when I shade, I pull in circles and then I go back and forth to pull those colors together. All right, so it kind of gives it like that the light is hitting the door right now. All right, so I've done my trees and I just need to do the crumb cake base. So let's do that. And then I'll add some highlight. <clears throat> I hope you guys had a great day. Um, I work outside, I work in a school and oh my goodness, it was so cold today. Um, definitely had to bundle up. How was your day? What did you guys do today? I would love to know. Okay, so I'm going to come in with my dark, this is where I have to be really careful, my dark red. I'm just going to go around 
mehr. I will be posting this video to my blog and to my social media and to YouTube. Um, I just, I'm hoping to upload it later tonight. Uh, my kids have some exams and stuff to do, so I have to help be off the internet when they're doing things. But we should be all good. So I'm just kind of going around. So this is where I want to be really careful. Around the outer edges. So I don't want my um, stuff to bleed. Now, I am using Thick Whisper White. Um, I've just learned that tip recently that you should use Thick White to color with. Um, if you follow Stampin' Up! demonstrators, I've heard Stampin' Up! Stampin Up! announced last week they are no longer going to have Whisper White. Uh, sadly, the mill that they get their paper from just closed due to the pandemic. Um, but Stampin' Up! has been working with another company and they're going to be bringing in new cardstock called Basic White. They have been testing it with Stampin' Up! Dem like concept artists, um, employees, and they say it's a great fit. So some of this, all of the Whisper White products are on sale, not on sale, are available to order while supplies last. And they're hoping that they will be able to transition to the new stuff very soon. So if you need any white, thick white, 12 by 12 white, note cards, be sure to stock up. I'm actually going to post the flyer for you guys. Okay, so there is our coloring. Oops, I need green for my wreath. So as you can see, I'll bring it a little closer. As you can see, you can really see the shading, like the what light and dark, and that's what we wanted. And I'm just going to like come around. That I'm just, I'm, uh, my goal had, um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> we'll just continue. Okay. So there is our pieces. Now I have something exciting to show you. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to cut this because I think I need to do that. And I'll bring in, all right, so Stampin' Up! announced that we were going to be carrying a new, well, we have new die cutting machines. So we have our standard die cutting machine, which is called the Big, the Big Boss, which I call the Big Boss. And we now are carrying Stampin' Up! also shared with us um, back in the big catalog, our annual, that we would have a mini. But they weren't sure when the mini was available. So I am very excited to show you. I have the new mini boss, Stampin' Cut and Boss, aka Baby Boss. This is what Stampin' Up! demonstrators are calling it, aka Baby Boss. So very light, um, very small. It's great to have on your desk. It will be easy for you to use. Comes just like that. It comes with... Um, comes with two plates and a white one, which is your die. And then it comes with two other ones for using with the embossing folders. So right now we are going to use this and we're going to put our tree down. And let me just get my pull in what I need here. All right, so we are bringing in this little die. Put the plate down. I would just pinch it so that it holds. It rolls through very easily. Let me just pull it up here. The width of the paper or the die itself is three and a quarter. That's what I cut my paper to is three and a quarter. So uh, hopefully, oh, this might not fit. I might have to do some reconstruction here. So yeah, so you want paper to fit that's three and a quarter. Um, this baby boss, or the mini stamp and cut to die, will be available for demonstrators starting on January 4th. 
or no, sorry, January 5th. I think the current catalog goes to January 4th. And then, or as if you're a demonstrator, you can order it right now as pre-order. So how exciting is that? Let me just get this started. It's kind of nice because you don't have to bring out your big machine. You can just have this little machine. It does everything that you need it to do. Here is some cutting. Always get in the habit of putting your dies back on their um, things because I thought I lost a die and I literally went looking through the garbage pail. Not good. You don't want to do that. Okay, sometimes I use sticky notes or posty notes. This is posty note washi tape. Um, my friend Heather gave it to me. So sometimes if I want to cut multiples, right now we don't have a little magnetic for this. Um, Stampin' Up! is working um, to get that corrected. Oh, I think I just moved it, so I have to move. Just put that down. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my placement here on here really good. Okay, and then our house. I said my die machine came last week and I had to like literally open the box because I had to see and it was so many oh my gosh it's just so cute like just walking into my craft room and seeing it on my table makes me smile because it's just so cute I highly recommend one you could always ask for gift cards for Christmas from your family and then you could order one in January how fun would that be trust me you're gonna want one Okay, I'm just uh, pulling off all our dies here. And then we have one more die cutting to do, and then we will start assembling our house. Okay. All right, so I'm just moving our pieces over. I'm just trying to put things back into my bin so I don't lose anything. All right, I have cut two pieces of paper that are three three by five and a quarter, I believe. So I'm just gonna lay that down. And what we're gonna get out now is our dies from the Quite Curvy. So we want the Quite Curvy. And what we're using is this die here. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to put it like that. And we're gonna run it through. Sometimes I leave, feel you have to leave a little bit of a catch so the die, the machine catches the die, the plate. Okay, hopefully you can see. So there's one and we'll just um, trim it up after. And then we want to do another one because I want the holes up at the top and bottom. So we're going to run this through again. Mm. And I just remembered I need to grab and leave a bit of a, there we go. Okay, there we go. So let's move that. So we have our two pieces of paper because we want one to go like this and one is going to go like this. So they're going to overlap. Uh, let me just put this away. And I just need to grab, because I forgot to grab it, I'm trying to have everything I need in a bin, and I forgot to grab my real red cardstock. So, let me just move our little boss machine. Like I said, it's right here, easy to do. Back over to my table. And we're going to bring our card back in. I'm going to move our dimensions up. Okay. So, what oh, we want to do is figure out our placements of our card. So we want one hill to go up, and I'm actually just going to take my pick up tool and pop out those little guys so they're off my thing. Okay, so we want one hill to go up, and we want one hill to go down. So we're creating a thing that looks like this. 
and we're going to cut them. So we're going to line them up to the edges and cut them. So I'm going to stamp. Um, do I want this one to be my bottom? Maybe this one to be my top. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to stamp on this bottom one. Let me just move this out of the way. Our Mary, may your season be merry and bright. And it's from the Kirby Christmas. So it has some trees, some stars, three greetings, and then some pine, and then a cute little bow, and it looks like little snow. So it is a photo palmer. So just lay your photo palmer down like this on your paper. Let it give a chance to like stretch itself out and come in with your stamp and pick it up. Now, because it is a photo palmer, you're going to want to stamp on a clear mat or a paper piercer mat because it helps with the stamping and the sponging. We are using real red ink and I'm just inking up my ink pad. And I'm just going to follow the curve of my die and I'm just going to stamp it down there. So it says, may your days be merry and bright. Let's move that out of my way so I don't stick my finger in it, as I've done that before. And that's okay. We would just cover up our mistake. Okay, so we're going to put this down first. Let that dry for a minute. And I'm just going to put some tape on. And we're going to put this down. Center it up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim that off. Just like this. And then we're going to trim this one off. Just like that. Oh, I kind of went off a little bit, but oh, it's okay. See what happens? We should have trimmed it before I glued it. All right, but that's okay. We can, uh, we're going to put some of this on. And once again, we're just going to pop out. I'm just going to grab my scissors. Oh, I'm going to pick a tool. I... Sometimes when you're... Oh, I should have... Hold on. I put it down too much. I'm going to have to pull it off. Okay, before you put your glue... Before you put your glue down, make sure you... Down your okay. I'm just basically trimming like that, so it looks like that, and then I'm going to trim this side, and it goes like that. All right, so there is our things. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some dimensionals, and we're going to put our small house. On to our big house. Let's see. Oops. I agree, Katie. It was very cold outside. So we're creating a house like that, and then we're going to pop up um, a reef up on the window. So it kind of looks like it's a little cottage house out in the woods on a snowy night. I'm actually going to cut this. So sometimes if my adhesives are too big, I just cut them. And then I'm going to do this one. All right. So what I'm going to do is lay my tree down so I know where it's going. And then I'm going to peel off my, and place my trees down. So there's one. Let me just put some pieces on these. You can never have enough dimensionals. Never enough dimensionals. I forgot my little container. I usually have a little container that I put beside my desk. I'm learning. 
these Facebook lives. I'm learning. I'm learning. My goal is to do them weekly. All right. So there, I'm going to put my house down. And I'm going to put in my other tree. So my card looks like that now. Can't have, well, let me just put some more glue on this. We can't have a card that's snowy like this without a little bit of sparkle. So, what we're gonna do is bring in our Wink Estella. I'm actually just gonna move this out of the way. And what I'm gonna do is, now I don't have uh, not much left in my Wink Estella, but I didn't wanna get a new one because I was afraid it would glob. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Wink Estella. Put some ink in the barrel so it's a glittery pen. And what you're going to do is just tap. And hopefully, we will. I might need some more. I'm afraid to get a big glob. I will show you once I'm done. It's a great way to just tap. And get some. Let's get some more glue. Oh, I see some more coming. I'm almost out of Wink Estella. We do not have Wink Estella. Add it to your shopping list. It is a must. Okay, I think my Wink is almost done. So, can you see that I've added little bits of glitter onto my card? That just helps create like a little sparkly in your day, in your night, or sorry, a little sparkle in your cart. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but I don't know if I can show you. There's just like little flecks of silver. So what a neat trick that is. So there you go is our card for tonight featuring the coming home bundle paired with the curvy dies to create like a nice snowy land um, and hill. I hope you enjoyed our crafting session tonight. I thank you so much for joining me. Do you have any questions? Please let me know. Um, you can always tag me or leave, email me or message me and I would be, I'll be happy to answer them. If you are in Canada and need a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to help you out. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed our crafting session tonight and I look forward to crafting with you guys again really soon. So thanks everyone for joining me. Remember this information, the pictures and blog video will be up on my blog, WW Stamp With Anne. I'm hoping it will be up in the next couple of nights and it will also be posted to my YouTube channel. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel or my blog, please do so. Um, and that way you'll know when I've gone live and you'll be able to grab, you'll be able to see the videos and contents that I posted. Um, thanks Katie. All right, so have a great night, everyone, and I will be back very soon. Bye!